Welcome to the Indiana Association of College Admission Counseling Virtual College Fair. We're so excited to have you participating in this event. We have some fantastic schools here with us today. My name is Matt and I will be your facilitator. Before we get started, a few housekeeping items. Your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so please be sure to check out the schedule on the website. The presentation is being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com slash Indiana. And now to turn things over to our first institution, the University of Iowa. All right, thank you, Matt. Well, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Marcus Phillips, one of the associate directors here in the Office of Admissions at the University of Iowa. Uh, we have some great institutions uh, for you to listen to today. So I hope you take advantage of asking questions uh, during the session and looking up each and every school in the session after it is, oh, after it is over. So University of Iowa um, is located in Iowa City, which is in the southeastern corridor of the state. For about 80,000 people in the city and about 140,000 in the metropolitan area. It's one of those classic college towns. Uh, it's a very fun, vibrant culture area. Uh, it's extensive amount of hiking, biking, and walking trails as well. One unique thing about the University of Iowa and Iowa City, uh, it's a city of literature. And so meaning that anything that revolves around literature, drama, poetry, um, is very embraced uh, within the community. And in fact, a fun fact about us, Iowa City is one of only two US cities uh, that has, has its designation, Seattle, Washington, it's another city as well. So we're in pretty cool company. So it's more than just cows and corn uh, here in Iowa City. We love to have those coffee shops and bookstores and those local restaurants that students can choose from. Fortunately for our students, uh, downtown Iowa City is right across the street from our campus. Um, there's an abundance amount of um, business restaurants, uh, clothing galleries, art galleries as well. So our students don't have to worry about traveling too far off campus um, to enjoy uh, downtown Iowa City. Here's an area view of our campus. Um, it is organized by the Iowa River as the east side and west side of campus. Um, in upper left hand corner is one of the largest teaching hospitals in the US. So it's an advantage for our students early on um, who are interested in health sciences to be able to conduct research, maybe volunteer, work part-time or job shadow those health professional um, in that field. Um, and so it really helps our students to, to get their hands-on experience um, in that area. Right in the middle of the screen is our old Pentacrest area. And so this is the main hub of campus. And it's about a five to 10 minute walk to most of the undergraduate uh, courses and buildings um, on our campus. It's a very walkable, bicycle-friendly campus as well. Total enrollment, about a little bit over 31,000 total students uh, from over 100 countries and 50 states. Um, for our incoming class, it represents 45 states and 40 countries. And as you can see, a majority of our students are from the state of Iowa, but we have a good amount that are outside the state of Iowa and internationally. Um, about 22% are minority and about 20% are first generation students. Just kind of quickly go over admissions and how you can become a part of the Hawkeye family. Uh, we do offer the common application, the coalition application, as well as our own institutional application. All three are available online, um, and you can actually apply um, by November 1st, which is our early action party deadline. There's no preference between the three, whichever one you feel most comfortable um, submitting. Now, we do use a formula for admission, uh, which is somewhat unique, um, and so it's pretty, pretty transparent when it comes to applying uh, with a test score. And so we will take in consideration your ACT or SAT scores. There's no preference there. Uh, we do not super score. We just pro you provide the highest composite score. And then we look at your cumulative GPA it can be weighted or unweighted and the number of high school core courses that you complete by the time you graduate from high school. You self-report this information, it generates a score. And so you need a 255 score um, for admission to the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. We do have some programs that are direct admit programs, such are, as our College of Nursing, College of Business, College of Engineering, and Public Health and Education. Um, so you go to our website for more detailed information about those programs. Now, we encourage students to apply by the November 1st deadline. And if you do so, you receive an admission decision within two to three weeks um, of applying. 
But we encourage you to apply by March 1st so you can be eligible for merit-based scholarships, which range from two to $12,000. We do have a second option. We are test optional um, for this year as well. Um, so we were gonna, we're, we're gonna look at your cumulative GPA. We're gonna look at your number of high school core courses you completed, but we also uh, require an essay um, as well as your unofficial high school transcript. So those are the two ways you can apply to the University of Iowa. Uh, we have a 15 to one student faculty ratio. Uh, there's 200 areas of study. So there's a lot to choose, choose from. You can't get to know your professor on a first name basis if you choose to do so. Our average class size is 30 students and only 4% of our classes have 100 or more students. So surprisingly for a large institution of our size, there's not too many classes uh, that you would have that would be large in nature. One advantage of being at a large institution is involvement. Um, our students are able to get involved and we actually challenge our students to get involved, whether it's performing arts, intramurals, uh, student organizations. Um, so there's a lot that students can, can do to get involved. Dance Marathon is our largest student organization and every year they put on a big dance event for 24 hours straight and our students cannot sit, sleep or drink caffeine during that time. And so they raise over $3 million every year uh, for that event. And one of our best traditions is the Iowa Wave. And so after every home game, the first quarter after every home game, um, students will, or the fans will wave at the students or the inner families in the children's hospital and they'll wave back. So it's a pretty cool community here at Iowa City. And if you decide you want to come to Iowa City, definitely check us out. You have until May 2nd to make the $250 commitment. Thank you very much. And I'll be sure to put some links and my contact information um, in the chat. Excellent, thank you very much, Marcus. Uh, next up is the University of Dayton. Great, hello everybody. I am sharing my screen right now. So we'll get this going. Hopefully you all can see it. Um, my name is Missy Bondi Hasselback. I am one of the assistant directors of admission and recruitment here at the University of Dayton, located in Dayton, Ohio. Um, really excited to share a little bit more about our university with you. Uh, we are a top tier Catholic Marianist research institution and we are dedicated to empowering our students to learn, lead and serve. This is so important to us that this is actually our mission here at the university. Uh, we really strive to be a welcoming, friendly campus. Our Marianist traditions call us um, to the values of inclusivity, diversity, hospitality, community, and working towards the common good. These are things you're really going to find permeate everything we do at the university. Community is really who we are, and I think it's really what sets us apart. We have um, over 8,200 undergraduates. Actually, it's now almost 8,600. We had record-setting classes the past two years with the true 14 to 1 student-to-teacher ratio. Uh, I like to call us the baby bear schools. We have all the big school resources, small school feel, so we're just right for just about everybody. Our average class size is about 27, uh, so you're really going to get that personalized attention, um, but we do have amazing resources in um, all of our different fields, including undergraduate research, which we're really well known for. We also have a 91% retention rate. That means 91% of our first year students come back to be a second year student. So I think that means we're really doing something right if our students really wanna be here and stay here. Uh, over 50% of our students come from outside of the state of Ohio with about 43 um, states represented. Uh, over um, about 12%, I should say, uh, of our students, our total population is uh, international. So again, that diversity and inclusion is super important to us. Um, this past year, um, we actually were 21% um, underrepresented student populations, um, again, with a really high international population. We have over 80 different majors and minors for you to choose from, so there's something for everybody. We are a direct admit school, so you apply directly into the major that you want to um, study, and we look at admitting you to that major. If we're unable to admit you directly to that major, we do look at admitting you to the university overall. We want students who want to be at the University of Dayton, and we offer a number of bachelor's plus master's degree programs as well. And then fun stuff. We have over 270 clubs and organizations. Uh, 50 per, or over 50% of our students play a club or intramural sport. So I tell my students, if you're born on my campus, it's your own fault. You're literally sitting in the dorm room staring at the wall. There is something for everybody. Uh, so really, um, what's, as I mentioned earlier, what's really important to us is the fact that we're a Catholic Marianist institution. And so um, 
we really build community through our student neighborhood, which is this top right photo here. Um, our uh, Juniors and seniors basically live in our student neighborhood. We're one of the only universities that has a self-contained student neighborhood that's actually a part of campus. Uh, so it's gonna be a really unique experience for you. Uh, and we're also one of um, the schools that we have one of the happiest students. Uh, and again, it's that community feel that really drives our students. And then our success rate. We have um, a 97% success rate, meaning within six months of graduation, 97% of our students are employed in grad school or they're doing some sort of service learning. Of those who are employed, 97% are employed full-time and 88% in their chosen field. Uh, and you can see this is just a smattering of places where students have um, gotten careers. And then something that's very unique about the University of Dayton is our transparent tuition plan. So when you apply, we automatically consider you for scholarships. There's nothing else that you have to do. And applying for scholarships um, will automatically award you that based just on your transcript. We are a test optional, so you don't need to submit your test scores if you don't feel they're a good representation, all the same scholarships you are eligible for. How, with that being said, we take all scholarships and grants from your FAFSA off of your tuition to get you a net tuition that gets locked in every single year for the next four years. Uh, so you can really plan these next four years with peace of mind. Uh, our, um, just by visiting and filling out the FAFSA, you get a $4,000 book scholarship. It's worth up to $500 a semester, which is really great. Uh, I did mention that for your outlook, housing is the only variable, and then we have no fees. So you're not gonna be surprised with the matriculation fee or an orientation fee. And then next step. So November 1, has, uh, as other people are going to say, is a big deadline day. So we uh, want you to apply by November 1st, if possible. Uh, that's early action. You'll know by the end of November if you're admitted to the university and then end of December for scholarships because we wait to send that scholarship in case you want to take that final um, ACT, SAT in December. As I mentioned, we are test optional and we are test optional forever. So we're not going to go back to asking that for you. Um, you are still eligible for all the same scholarships, all the same programs, all the same majors, even if you don't submit a test score. So I do encourage you, if you don't like it, don't send it. We don't care, which is great. Uh, you can apply to us using the, um, our application, the Common App or Coalition App, it does not matter. Uh, and then we always tell our students, by early um, uh, February, you should know if you've gotten your FAFSA to us, how much it's gonna cost you to attend the University of Dayton. I'm also going to drop my information into um, the, the chat so you can reach out to me. I am your rep from the Indiana area. We're only about two hours away. So it's really nice short drive. We are open for campus visits. So come and see all that University of Dayton has to offer. Excellent, thanks very much. Uh, next up is Indiana University South Bend. Perfect, okay, let me see if I can go in. Screen. Can you guys see it? Yes, we can. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm Julian Hubbard, uh, one of the first year counselors and diversity coordinator here at IUSB. Um, we aim to service all students and enjoy supporting them on their journey to receiving an IU degree. Uh, we understand the importance of our role in helping them achieve this goal, and we vow to ensure each student is guided in the right direction. Um, here you'll find a welcoming campus offering high quality and affordable education for those who not only want to transform their life, um, but the lives of those around them. Uh, every student has support of world-class professors um, and the opportunity to experience college life to the fullest in and outside of the classroom. Um, as we work to build credentials with um, internships, studying abroad, or even research opportunities. As you can see here, we're in fact IU's third largest campus, um, just, but just behind IU Bloomington and IUPUI. Um, we typically host just about 5,000 students each year. And this is ranging from all over, including those deriving from international students, transfers, and of course, those from surrounding areas such as South Bend or Elkhart County. So you feel a, you feel a sense of a home environment while attending our campus. Um, there's approximately 100,000 residents here in South Bend, yet we're still remotely close to Chicago, 
which can provide a sense of a bigger city experience in which students can visit for a weekend getaway or even traveling to Lake Michigan during our seasonal breaks. Um, it's important to make time for an outlet um, during your undergrad years and we understand that, which is why we recommend ways to do so. As you can see here, we have six schools and colleges consisting of over 100 programs and majors. Um, both our School of Social Work and Health Sciences prepares graduates to become professionals in the transforming and diverse landscape of healthcare. Um, within our College of Liberal Arts, you're not only going to learn about, but celebrate diversity, um, participate in civic initiatives, all while practicing sustainability. In our Rackland School of Arts, you students benefit tremendously from our talented faculty um, as they're more than knowledgeable in fields such as communication studies, um, fine arts, music, theater, and even dance. In our School of Business, we offer a variety of student resources that will help them prosper academically. And this is ranging from academic advising, career counseling, peer mentoring, and many, many more. In our School of Business, um, oh wait, and, I, and last but not least, but in our School of Education, we have more than 400, I wanna say four to 500 students each year. Um, and this is consisting of both undergrad and grad level. And approximately 70% of our graduates go on to work and or live in South Bend or neighboring areas. Um, so we take pride in our alumni as they go on to serve our community. As you can see here, a few fast facts. Um, over $40 million in financial aid is distributed annually. This allows for them to go to school at an affordable rate. And um, oftentimes students find enough aid to cover a significant amount, if not all of their tuition each year. So that's big. Um, we also provide a 13 to one student to faculty ratio. This, is allow, this allows students to build rapport with their professors in return, enhancing their ability to comprehend the course material as opposed to being one out of a few hundred, like they may find themselves at other campuses. And it is true, we have over hundred student organizations. Um, we pride ourselves in our students being involved. Um, we believe you should always stay involved and build connections um, with peers as you never know what doors could open due to you networking. Um, so throughout the year, we constantly provide a number of events ran by both faculty and students. Um, so it's imperative that they take advantage as we allow many opportunities to do so. Furthermore, from Greek life to studying abroad in a foreign country, the opportunities here at IUSB are endless. Um, I myself did both during my time in undergrad and would highly recommend all of our, all of our students to take the chance to step outside their comfort zone for the sake of experiencing another culture other than what they may be used to. Um, we're constantly hosting events throughout the school year as we strive to promote campus involvement. Um, so it's beneficial to be involved here and we provide um, a plethora of opportunities to do so. As Titans, we uh, give it all on the court, on the field, and, on the, and in the stands. Um, we pride ourselves in our athletic programs and we wanna provide our student athletes with the best opportunities possible to accommodate their unique schedule um, we realize it's important for them to feel represented and to know that their academic institution supports them 100%. So we encourage all of our um, incoming students, um, their family members, anyone in the community to attend some of our home games to get a sense of the Titan experience. Uh, I know right now we're currently in season for basketball, volleyball, soccer, golf, and um, cross country. Um, and especially on the weekends, they're always a great turnout. So um, we're looking forward to an exciting season for this upcoming basketball um, year. So, yeah. Um, in terms of our student housing, um, living on campus allows for you to take advantage of the full collegiate experience offered here at IU South Bend. Um, you'll have the chance to make long life friendships and will find many student center programs and services to assist you with your personal and academic success. Uh, studies show that students who live on campus are they tend to be more successful in the classroom um, and are more likely to graduate on time, which is essential. We, we pride ourselves in our students being to get in and out in four years um, so that they can pursue postgraduate opportunities. Um, you will get the support you need to make a successful transition to the rigors of college life. 
um, while living independently and participating in uh, residential life programs and activities um, as you learn to evolve as not only a student, but as a person. Um, and we also have the opportunity for them to take a required COVID test um, 10 days before their administer move-in date. Um, it allows for us to you know, keep track of our health protocols as we um, transition each year and we're keeping track of all the large numbers that we intake. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the gist of what we offer at IU South Bend. Um, below is our admissions email. If you have any further questions or concerns. Um, and again, thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Yeah. And up next, we have Grand Valley State University. All right, thank you, Matt. And thank you everyone for joining. Um, so let me go ahead and get my screen pulled up here. So my name is Sarah Tibby. I am an assistant director of admissions from Grand Valley State University in the Great Lakes state of Michigan. Also a proud Laker alum myself. So to tell us a little, or if you're not quite familiar with GVSU, our main mission is to educate students to shape both your lives, your profession, and your society. So give you a really well-rounded education. Um, because as we all know, especially in the past 18 plus months or so, we live in a rapidly changing and interconnected world. So we want to make sure that you're ready for whatever is next and whatever that may be for you, whether it's your next internship, your next career, your next trip abroad. We want to make sure that all of our students are ready for whatever life may throw at you. So a little bit more about us. We are a four-year public university, like I said, in the state of Michigan. We're in the heart of West Michigan. So if you're a Michigander, you throw up your hand. We are um, right there close to the lake shore. So we're about 20 minutes away from the shores of Lake Michigan. Um, and kind of like some of my other colleagues have shared, you kind of get the best of both worlds with GVSU. You get all those opportunities and experiences of a big school in terms of research, academics, study abroad, internships but you have a small campus feel to it. So it is very much a close knit community. Um, you have engaged faculty members, colleagues, roommates, all of the above. Um, but hopefully we have something for you across our over 140 areas of study. So we have about 96 undergraduate degree options that span over 300 areas of study as well. So whether that's business, biology, engineering, health sciences, Again, hopefully something for everyone. Probably what we're most well known for are a couple of those that I mentioned being the health sciences and professions, business, education, and engineering and computing. I would say one of the defining characteristics and what's really special about GVSU is our faculty and our professors. So even though we're a pretty good size institution and we do have a graduate school, all of our classes are led by professors. So we do not use any teaching assistants or grad assistants in the classrooms. So you're learning from the experts. Um, so they get to know you, you get to know them. They're not scary, I promise. And they're truly dedicated to your learning and helping you out. And they also learn from you. Every year that I talk to professors, they're just so excited to get into the classrooms and meet their new students for the year. So what happens after you graduate as well? So we, like I said, we encourage you and prepare you for a lifetime of learning. That's what we call your Laker effect. So once you graduate, you go out and create that change and make that impact in the world. So 94% of our recent graduates are employed or pursuing advanced degrees and most of them in their field of study. We also have a really strong pass rate and a lot of our licensure exams. So certain professions that maybe require you to pass a board or certification exam, such as nursing, clinical dietetics, um, law enforcement, all of our students are well prepared for those programs and pass first time around. Um, additionally, we want to make sure that the Laker effect in this quality education is affordable and accessible for you as well. So over 90% of our students do receive financial aid and over a third graduate debt free as well. So again, even if you are not a Michigan resident, we do have opportunities and plenty of funding resources to help support you and make it an affordable option. Speaking of price, just remember that education is a big investment and we wanna match that by showing you our ways to invest in yourself throughout the process. So a couple of ways to do that is to really take your learning to the next level and get out, get your hands dirty um, in a variety of ways. 
So study abroad, if you wanna go explore the world and start earning college credit, um, we have an open door policy. So, you know, assuming that the world itself is actually open for that, any major can go abroad anywhere in the world. If you wanna do service learning trips with your classmates and clubs and organizations or with your professor or do research. So we have many students that are research assistants to professors or maybe leading a project on your own. And then all of that experience really pays off when you go to an employer and you can highlight all of this experience you have. And that's reflected in some of the leading employers of our graduates. Now, one more thing that I like to highlight is our lifetime learning account. So that's our promise to you and kind of our insurance to you that yes, we care about your learning beyond just the four years. So all Grand Valley alum receive $1,000 kind of saved in the bank for if and when you need it to come back and upskill, take a class here or there to again, kind of further your learning and professional and personal development. So while I'm alluding to cost, here it is. Um, for a non-Michigan resident, you're looking at about $27,800 a year total cost. And this is before any sort of financial aid is applied. So it's about $18,800 in tuition, and then room and board is $9,000. Now, similar to some of the other schools, this is inclusive of everything. This is your meal plan, your laundry, no surprise fees. We have free tutoring, counseling, academic advising, access to our athletic fields and recreation facilities. So it's all inclusive with this and within this, no surprises. Now, like I said, we do a variety of financial aid to support and minimize your net your out of pocket cost. So make sure you submit that FAFSA if you haven't done so already. Um, for scholarship purposes, we have two primary methods for scholarships. The first one are merit. So as long as you meet the requirements, as long as you're admitted by December 31st, those scholarships are yours. You can also apply to additional scholarships through our My Scholarships portal between October and March. So those are just for Grand Valley students. But overall, to apply, we just ask that you submit our application online. And there's six days left to apply for no application fee in terms of college access month. Um, but we do have a holistic application review process, and we are also test optional as well. But if anything, I just encourage you to come visit us in person or virtually. We'd love to have you. Or if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, and I will throw my information in the chat as well. So thank you. Thanks very much, Sarah. Uh, next up is the University of Cincinnati. All right, okay. Um, hello, everybody. My name is Andrea Prebles. I am the admissions counselor for the entire state of Indiana um, from the University of Cincinnati. And so we'll go ahead um, and start presenting here, maybe. Here we go. Okay. So uh, here at the University of Cincinnati, we were founded in 1819. And so we have been around for over 200 years now. Um, our enrollment is just over 46,000 students. We're actually on track to break the enrollment record for the ninth year in a row. So we keep growing, which is great for us. Um, we have over 400 degree programs to choose from. And so there's really something for everybody here. Our most common areas of study though, those are gonna be more so engineering, business, and then anything in the medical field. So nursing or pre-medicine, um, and then as well as the design field or the art field. So whether that's performing arts or design, we have really great reputations for both of those things. Um, with being such a large school, we do have a really great student to teacher ratio of 16 to one. About 80% of our classes have fewer than 50 students in them. Um, only about 3% of our classes will have over 100. And so we want you to be able to have that really great connection with your professors, just as many of my colleagues here today have said, um, we all are working really hard in higher education to make that more personal for you all. And so um, the University of Cincinnati is another one of those schools that's able to do that for you. Um, um, now, that enrollment number is inclusive of a few different things. So it includes um, all three campuses. So if you're not familiar, the University of Cincinnati does have two smaller branch campuses about 30 minutes away from the main campus in Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, so on our main campus, our undergraduate population is 27,000 students. Um, so we're the second largest public school in Ohio. Um, so if you're wanting that large university experience, you can find that here with us. 
These are a, a list of a diff, all the different types of supports and services that we offer to students while you're here, because we feel that every student needs someone in their corner for every aspect of their life. And you can find those people here in these offices. Um, so I won't go into too much depth for all of them, but I will touch on the last one here, which is the Experience Based Learning and Career Education Center. Uh, now you're going to come to college, you're going to get a degree, obviously we want you to pick up those skills in your classes, but we also can't forget that you're developing as a young professional as well. And so if you want to go to grad school, medical school, law school, um, or start a business, anything that you want to do, we this office is going to be the ones to help you find those experiences um, so that you have a resume built before you graduate from UC. Uh, that way you feel confident and prepared for whatever is next for you. Now, when it comes to experience outside of the classroom, it comes in a few different formats. Uh, Co-ops and internships for us are definitely the most popular and the most common that we see our students doing. The University of Cincinnati actually invented cooperative education back in 1906. So we've been doing it the longest and we've been doing it the best in my opinion. Um, but co-op for our students is full-time guaranteed pay semester long rotations. And so you're in classes for one semester and then the next semester you take off and you're focusing solely on your co-op site. And so if you are a aerospace engineering student, you can go work for Boeing and work as an engineer um, with the aircraft there. So it's real hands-on experience directly related to your major. And students on average are earning about $10,000 per semester when they do these co-op rotations. And most of our students in these um, do have to complete three, four, or five semesters worth of those. And so many of our students in the co-op program really do graduate with little to no debt, which is really cool because they use their earnings to pay for school. Um, internships, obviously, those can be part time, um, so you can do classes at the same time, so that's a really great alternative for students who maybe want to do both and have that balance. Now, of course, being involved at UC is something we really love uh, to really encourage our students to do. Um, we have a few different ways you could do that, but there are over 500 clubs and organizations to be a part of here in Cincinnati. Um, something that's been really exciting for us recently is our football team. Uh, they are ranked currently number two in the nation right now. And so our campus is on fire more than it really ever has been before. And so that's something we've been really excited about. Um, but yes, getting involved is definitely one of the best ways to individualize your experience here at UC. And I would go on a limb to say that now, no two students have ever had the same exact experience here at our university. Now, when you choose a college, you're also choosing the city in which that college lives. And so if lucky for us, we have the beautiful city of Cincinnati, five, uh, five minutes down I-75 from us, so a quick drive. And we have a ton of different things that you can do. If you somehow find yourself bored on campus, um, if maybe one of the 500 clubs isn't doing something, uh, you could go into the city itself and attend one of the professional sporting events. Um, the zoo is actually within walking distance of our campus. And so if you're really into going to the zoo, you can get a season pass um, and go as often as you want because um, it's just a quick walk. But yeah, there's tons of things to get involved in here in Cincinnati. It's a really um, beautiful city, historic and up and coming. And so um, I've been in Cincinnati my whole life, so I could be a little biased, but I think that it's a great place to be. And it's a great place to be um, not only while you're in school, but after um, you graduate as well. Now to apply to UC, we are on the Common Application, which you can find at commonapp.org, or you can just go to our admissions website and we have a link directly to it. But once you apply using the Common App, we need you to send us a few things. The first being some form of your grades. So your transcript officially from your guidance office, or um, you can self-report your grades as well. That's something that we're trying out this year that's new. And then uh, you might need to send us an ACT or an SAT score if you're interested in nursing or early childhood education. Other than that, we won't need a score from you. And then letters of recommendation are 100% optional. But that's pretty much it. That's all I have for the University of Cincinnati. I just figured I'd end with this cute slide of our bear cat. Um, and I put my contact information in the chat box. So feel free to reach out with any questions you have. Excellent. Thanks very much. And next up is Ivy Technical Community College, Indianapolis. Hi, this is Summer Gooding from Ivy Tech Community College. And I'm going to share my screen with you today so you can see. Um, what I'm doing here. I'm also going to set myself a little timer. Okay, I'm here to share information about Ivy Tech Community College. Um, there are lots of community colleges you have to choose from 
in various states, but in Indiana, we are the only state in the United States that has one unified community college system. That means no matter where you live in Indiana, you would be going to community college at Ivy Tech. This is my contact information. I encourage you to take a photo of it. Um, you've got my cell number on there, as well as a link to my application. It's also on the background of my um, screen today. So you can just use a QR code and take a picture of that with your phone and you'd be able to access the application. We do have a free application at Ivy Tech. A lot of colleges will charge you just to apply and that's not the case for Ivy Tech. So a community college is gonna give you a lot of things that a four year bachelor's degree would not be able to give you including lots of options for the type of um, credential that you want to earn, as well as the most affordable tuition in the state of Indiana. So you can see with this slide, um, an annual full-time student, including tuition and fees, is only gonna pay about $4,600. Whereas if you go anywhere else in the state or anywhere else in the country that is not a community college, you would definitely be paying um, double or triple or quintuple that amount. You can definitely start out at Ivy Tech and then transfer to a four-year college. Um, it's extremely common to do that and will save you thousands of dollars in the process. So here's the QR code again. By applying to Ivy Tech using this code, you'll connect directly with me. So you'll see on here that we do offer you other options besides a degree. We can give you a certificate, which you can accomplish in less than a year. Between four to seven courses will get you a certificate that is industry recognized and will enable you to get an entry level position in a lot of different industries. Or you could earn a technical certificate, which has a few more classes than that, or an associate's degree, which is our highest credential which is equivalent to year one and year two of a four year bachelor's program. So we call these credentials stackable credentials, which means that if you complete one, all of those courses um, for like for the certificate would count towards the technical certificate. All of the courses in the technical certificate will count towards the associate's degree. So it's a way to um, get that degree by stopping along the way to earn various credentials rather than have to wait a long time before you've earned the degree or certificate that you're ready to do. So we have lots of different opportunities. We have over 150 different credentials you can earn in these seven categories. Um, you can explore all of our programs, including information about how much you can expect to make in Indiana for um, those different careers. You can find locations close to you. That's one of the beauties of community college. You are not living on campus, which is saving you lots and lots of money. You're able to keep your life going, to keep your job, um, keep your responsibilities and go to school at the same time. We have lots of different flexible options for the time and the format of your courses because we recognize that oftentimes Students who choose community college are also juggling a lot of other things besides school. So we have um, opportunities in business, arts, sciences, and education, public affairs and social services, information technology, health sciences, nursing, and advanced manufacturing, engineering, and applied science. Really, we can get you started or complete all the education you need for the program that you wanna go into at Ivy Tech. There are people who have started at the community college level and have completed all the way through to a PhD level. So we are a way that you can make your education more affordable. We also have free textbooks this year, as well as frozen tuition, which means we haven't raised our tuition rates from last year to this year. We also offer anyone who wants to take classes above a full-time course load, free courses above full-time. So we can help you um, in terms of getting you financial aid, as well as a grant through the state of Indiana called the Workforce Ready Grant, also known as Next Level Jobs, where you can get free tuition 
for a variety of different programs in the five different categories that you see on the screen here. Indiana needs people in these fields so badly that um, they're willing to help pay tuition for you to go into those programs. So let us help you transfer to a four-year school by using our credits first and saving you thousands of dollars before you transfer. We can get you into a high demand career. We also have student life activities on campus. Even though you're not living there, that doesn't mean that we don't have any opportunities for you to get involved. We certainly do. Um, we also have honors programs. We can help you enroll. I can help you uh, fill out the Ivy Tech application as well as um, figure out what sort of assessments you need and uh, what kind of transcripts you need to fill out. We don't have any GPA requirement. Um, so you don't need to worry about your GPA or if you need to take the SAT or ACT, we don't require that either. So thank you for listening to my presentation today. Definitely, I'll put my information in the chat for you as well if you want to connect. Thank you. Excellent, thanks so much. So we have a couple minutes left for um, some Q&A before we conclude the session. I'd invite all of our presenters to join me back on camera and respond to this question. Uh, what advice would you give someone going through the college search process? And I'll ask that our presenters respond in the same order that they presented. So Marcus, you're up first. Sure, so basically, as you can see, we all are very personal people. So if you ever get uh, this, this caught in the whole admission process and there's anxiety that's building up or you're just frustrated. Now, obviously we have information on the website, but reach out you know, to your admission counselor that's in your territory. Uh, we are just a, a great resource uh, to help you navigate through the enrollment process. So, and plus with the pandemic, there's more virtual options uh, to maybe have a 30 minute one-on-one -on -one meeting with the admission counselor. So I would just say, tap into your resource, your admission counselor. Love that. I always love when people reach out to us. So um, I think uh, my best advice would be find a place that you feel like is home to you. There are a lot of universities out there. You've heard from several of us, um, but we really want you to find a place that you feel is home for you and you feel is your fit. Um, because when something goes wrong, you're going to feel like you can reach out to them. So we want you to go somewhere, spend four years there. Um, and if it's our campus, great. If it's not, bless you, go elsewhere, but find your fit. I believe Indiana University, you're up next. All right, Sarah, why don't you go ahead? Okay, um, that works out well because I was going to kind of piggyback off of what Missy said in terms of finding your fit. I always say just be curious, don't limit yourself. Um, you know, this is a great way to see what schools are even out there. I certainly did not have this opportunity to interview six or seven schools at once when I was going through it. Um, so just be curious, don't limit yourself because um, you might be surprised at where you find your fit ultimately. So that's kind of my piece of advice. For me, I always say, because a lot of schools these days, I feel, are doing direct admission, and that sometimes can be really great if you know exactly what you want to do, but some of you may truly be undecided and might get caught up in the, well, my friend knows what they want to major in. I don't know what I want to do yet. I'm just going to pick this random program. Don't let the pressures of the outside world, whether that's parents, teachers, friends, interfere with your college decision-making process because it can become really overwhelming to try to please everybody um, when really this is an investment with your time and your money most of the time. So um, really take, take power in that decision-making process for yourself. Yeah, and I would add um, that some of you may not have the greatest GPAs. You may not be able to get into a selective school um, of your choice right now but that doesn't mean that you wouldn't be selected in the future. So community college may be a good fit for you. If your GPA isn't the greatest and you wanna raise that up, or if you just really struggle with paying the price tag for um, the traditional college environment right now, we can help you with that and then pass the baton on to any one of the, the schools that you see here on this panel. They're all our partners and um, we can get you there by starting out with us first. 
Excellent. Thank you all so much. Um, so that brings us to the conclusion of this session. So I want to say thank you so much for joining us. Um, when you close this window, there will be a link to a quick survey. We do appreciate your feedback. And we encourage you to check the schedule for more sessions that are happening as part of this college fair. And you'll be able to find a recording uh, from this session as well as others at strivescan.com slash Indiana. Thank you all so much and have a great rest of your day. Bye guys.